Hi everybody, Pastor Deb here. Well, I'll take this off, then you won't think it's the same day as yesterday, or two days ago, even though it is. Um, I found a reading that I wanted to share with you. It's by Rachel Hackenberg, and she's on the national staff for the United Church of Christ, the UCC. She's also the author of a couple of books. <clears throat> you might want to check out Writing to God is the name of one, and co-author of Denial is My Spiritual Practice. Um, she also has a, a blog called Faith and Water. Anyway, she wrote something that crossed my desk, and I kind of wanted to share it with you. It just feels like fun and something for us to think about. I don't know what the weather's like where you are, but um, here in Rochester, we are in the midst of several days of rain, like a full, full week, I think, or more of the rain cycle great for the plants, a little soggy for us to live through, but still, <clears> that made me think of, uh, of that when I was reading this. She begins by quoting verse 5 of the 23rd Psalm with the New Revised Standard Version. She says, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Rachel writes, if a steaming dish of buttery mashed potatoes is part of the dinner spread, you'd best believe I'll be returning for a second helping during the meal. Same is true with the sourest Pennsylvania Dutch sauerkraut. Here, not, not on my list. Also, corn on the cob at peak ripeness. And fresh from the vine summer tomatoes and soft, juicy pears that drip down the chin. Hmm. And if fudge pie is on the menu for dessert, Jesus help me, she says. I'll be coming for seconds and thirds. Good food gets me singing and swaying and returning for more. Too bad that's not the abundantly prepared table of Psalm 23. There are ample green pastures, clean still waters, right paths, anointing oil, all good gifts to be sure, but no mashed potatoes. No sauerkraut, no corn or tomatoes or pears, and no fudge pie. The psalmist's thanksgiving and awe are not inspired by the table's spread, alas, but by its location. In the riskiest and least comfortable place imaginable, surrounded by folks with ill intent, the psalmist's deep gratitude is a response to the shepherd's invitation, Here, beloved, Sit in peace and dine without worry. O holy host, rather than a holy chef, a, re a reassurance rather than a menu, a gift that aims to fill the spirit instead of the belly, a gift of peace, no matter the turmoil, a head held high assurance that no one, not even your worst enemy, can keep you from God's abundance. That's a table worth returning to for seconds. And her prayer, for the peace that tastes better than fudge pie, O gracious host. Thank you. Not sure why that's speaking to me so much right now. I think because there's so much going on in our world that seems to be Contrary to my belief system, contrary to how I want to live, <clears throat> I know many of you are feeling that way too, sort of besieged on all sides when it comes to our values and um, what we think is the way the world should be. So I like the reassurance of Rachel's post because it reminds us that that is exactly where God is going to set the table for us. Not often some bucolic little pastoral setting. Well, it's pastoral, but it's in, in the midst, in the presence of mine enemies. And those enemies may be physical ones with, you know, uh, automatic weaponry and the mass shootings. Or it might be peace in around the enemies that we carry within us, those thoughts that can attack us at any time. The psalmist reminds us that God offers us peace and respite and a banquet to fill us up 
to take care of us, to grant us peace. I invite us all to think about that today and in the days ahead. You know, where are the places that you need peace in your life? And how is God offering you a banquet in those places? Yeah, that should carry us for a few days. Thank you for joining me for this prayerful pause of the pastor. I'm Pastor Deb Swift of South Presbyterian Church in Rochester, New York. And until next time, may that God of peace, who's serving up this rich, wonderful, thrilling, calming banquet, bless you. God bless you. Take care. Take care. Care about what's going on. Be well. Until next time. Bye for now.